All right, so this week, uh, Texas Tech plays Kansas State. Uh, Taylor Foss got hurt uh, during the mm, New Mexico game, and their backup quarterback, Steven Sheffield, looked, re looked really, really impressive to me. Uh, three for three touchdowns. Uh, a real guy that's starting to break out is this guy, Harrison Jeffers, uh, number 10. He's a running back wide receiver type guy. Uh, they've started this play where they run him around the end. That's working pretty well for him. We're at, uh, I think, 40-some yards against the... They ran that play for 40-some yards against the... Sorry, Houston. And in that game, it seemed like they had a better running attack. But, like I said, Posh got hurt. They still won by uh, 20 points. Not really what I expected. I expected them to win by more. The point spread was 35. They didn't cover that. So... I still think Tech needs to improve. I didn't watch the whole game because I was watching LSU in Georgia. And uh, next, this coming week's Kansas State, uh, I expect a win there. Uh, so, we'll see. Uh, but the real game this week for me is LSU Florida, obviously. Uh, I really think LSU should have killed Georgia earlier uh, on Saturday because two times in the first half they had it inside the 20 yard line and got uh, two field goals out of it that that's not going to cut it against Florida uh, they played solid the first half but solid one solid half isn't going to cut it against Florida either uh, they really need to improve the red zone offense and their running game except for the Charles Scott uh, touchdown didn't really look too impressive to me Jordan Jefferson was kind of shaky and Georgia did battle back and made it a game, but I really think LSU should have put that one away early and it shouldn't have been that close. But as for the personal, uh, or not personal foul, well I guess it was a personal foul, unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, against AJ Green, Magnum bitched about that. Uh, I can't really, I don't really have much room to talk because I, I did that about the Texas Tech game and uh, Texas, Texas Tech game and but thing was, uh, Charles Scott got one too for doing that, which I guess like one of his relatives was dead and he was pointing to the sky. They threw a flag. Yeah, both of them did nothing, but they they kind of offset each other. And a lot of people were saying, no, they didn't. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, actually they did because both teams kicked off from the 15. Trenton Holiday just got a better return. That's what it boiled down to. And uh, the fact that Georgia couldn't tackle uh, Charles Scott for some reason, uh, they decided, uh, I guess since the refs didn't tackle him for Georgia, uh, that they should blame that loss on the refs. I don't really think that one call caused the game to go that way because, I mean, Georgia could have easily driven down the field and scored a touchdown and tied it up. But Joe Cox threw a pick, which I predicted he would. I thought he'd throw. I thought he'd throw about two, but he only threw one, and that was at the end of the game. So, uh, Georgia's offense was terrible in the first half, and their defense was too. LSU was just running, or not running, uh, doing plays all over them, and uh, Georgia couldn't really stop it. But like I said, LSU kind of gave up after halftime, and just let Georgia slowly creep back into the game, and that's not going to work against Florida. Uh, I'm not sure yet if Tim Tebow is going to be back because uh, he hasn't been cleared yet, but they still got a few days for that. And with or without Tebow, I think it's going to be a great game, only because it's in Death Valley. So we'll see what happens, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, I was going to have a special guest in this video, but he's meeting with Les Miles right now. Yeah, Brandon LaFell, uh, I was going to call him. But I texted him to give him a heads up, and he's like, hey, I can't talk right now. I'm with Les Miles because he's not getting the ball enough. I think they need to get him the ball more. And on the Texas Tech side, same uh, thing. Edward Britton needs to get the ball more because both LaFell for LSU and Britton for Texas Tech, they're wide open. They're just not getting the ball. LaFell did have two drops and uh, no touchdowns, but what can you do? Wait, did he have a touchdown? I don't know. No, he didn't.
No, he didn't. Two field goals, two touchdowns. And it's a point conversion. Yeah. Well, uh, that's pretty much all I got for this video. I was going to have... I was going to talk to Brandon LaFell, but that didn't work out, so uh, I'll talk to y'all guys later, and let me know what y'all think. And yes, I do have Brandon LaFell's uh, phone number. Don't call me a faggot for that. Talk to him pretty regularly, but peace.